All right, so for math, now the whole month of May, we're gonna talk about comparing numbers. So we've learned all the numbers to 20, but we're only gonna really work on the numbers to 10 when we're starting to learn about comparing, right? When we wanna say, I have more than her, or he has more than me, what does more mean? Or I have less, what does that mean? What does less look like, what does that mean? So the whole month we're gonna really be comparing numbers to 10 and we're gonna do it all month long and we're gonna get so good at it and I'm super excited about it. But today all we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go over the words that we're gonna use because when we compare numbers, we already know the numbers we're comparing. So we don't need to learn any new numbers, but we need to learn the words that we use to compare. So we're gonna go over the vocab, the vocabulary words right now. And then after this video, I gave a link for a story called Just Enough Carrots. And as you listen to that story, all these words are in them. So you're gonna kind of understand why it's so important to know these words when we're comparing, because they're in that book and that shows it, okay? All right, so the first word we're gonna talk about when we compare is the word compare. What does the word compare mean? If you look, you're trying to figure out what's different about the two. So when we're comparing numbers, we're going to figure out which one is more and which one is less. So when we're comparing this month, we are comparing the amount of something. So right here, we're comparing the amount of fish, right? Which bowl had more? That means they have the bigger number. So you see how the arrow is pointing to the bigger bowl because it has four fish and the little bowl only has one. So this bowl has more. That's comparing, figuring out what is different about them. Over here, we're comparing which one is less. Less means smaller. So does this big jug of milk have less or does this little cup of milk have less? So the smaller amount. It'd be the glass of milk, very good. Then another word we talk, actually we don't talk about fewer is the same word meaning as less. So if you have less, you have fewer. So that actually means the same. So you, sometimes we might say the word less, sometimes we may say the word fewer. So fewer means that you have the smaller amount. So of these two cookie jars, which one has fewer cookies? This one, very good, okay. so. Then another word that we talk about is having the same amount, right? So the same amount means that they both are identical. They both have the same number. Where like if we counted, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So there's 10 candies in that jar. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 10 in that jar, they're the same. They both have 10 candies, okay? So those are the words that we use. More also means greater than. We're gonna talk about these symbols a lot this month and what we're gonna really understand them as alligators when they wanna eat the bigger number. So if this little alligator's mouth is pointing at this way, then it, I'm sorry, this way, it means that that side has more. It has, the, it's greater than. And then this one is the alligators pointing this way. That means that this side is less than this side. It might be a little confusing right now, but it will totally make sense as we go on through the month of May learn, comparing numbers. Now we also have equals. We know that one. And equals is the same meaning this jar equals this jar. They are the exact same, they both have 10, okay? So these are what we're really gonna be focusing on this month, greater than, equal, and less than, all right? So as you go ahead and you're gonna listen to Just Enough Carrots on YouTube, you're gonna hear the words more, less, same, fewer. Look for those words in that story. And then tomorrow we're gonna really start um, we'll answer, using these words to answer questions. And we're going to answer the questions that have carrots. So listen to that story. And then tomorrow we'll review our vocab. And then we will get into comparing numbers by figuring out what has more and what has less. Great job.